Can this Chromebook from 2014 still survive in 2026? Welcome to this one day challenge. Let's start with basics. This Chromebook just has 14 GB of storage and 4 GB of RAM. Definitely not the most powerful machine. But for this challenge, I'm going to make it work. As you know, the best operating system for these hardware specs is Linux. The first thing that I need to do is find a good cool distro version for this hardware. I search a lot on the internet and after that, go to OpenSea website to work online with different distro versions of Linux. After that, I choose my final distro. Linux Mint. Here's why I choose it. The first reason is it has a cool UI. And the other reason is because it has a cool UI, you can easily move on into Linux distros. In my case, Linux Mint make it easy to move from a Windows machine into Linux distro. The other reason that I choose Linux Mint is because the lack of storage that I have. Now it's the time to install it. Installing it is easy peasy. I just open the original website and then start downloading the ISO version of Linux. Previously, I turned my flash disk into a bootable device with using Ventoy. So I just copy the ISO file into my flash drive and boom. The installation process is piece of a cake, but I don't cover the installation part in this video to manage time better. In my daily task, I need Google Chrome and Telegram. These two apps are vital for me. I need both of them for my job. To install them, I just go to the original website and after that, download the dot deb version of it that deb means debian after that i just double click on it and press on install easy peasy so here's the thing 14 GB of storage is nothing linux itself takes a big chunk of it so i need to find a way to upgrade the storage of this device as you know these chromebooks are not updatable so the options that i have is using an sd card using a flash disk or creating a home server but for now i'm just much happier to use a flash disk i can also use an sd card because this laptop already has its input so with this way i don't miss any usb ports all right here we go 24 hours, one Chromebook, one Linux Mint, no excuses. Let's see what this thing can really do. The one day Chromebook challenge is done, and I gotta say, I'm blocky shook. Let's break it down. Good vibes. First off, this Chromebook is super affordable and the battery life totally lit. Plus, it's mad portable, so it's perfect for on the go. But not gonna lie, the downsides hit too. Like when I was listening to Telegram voice notes, the CPU went wild and gave me that annoying beep sound. And multiple taps, yeah, it crashed. Plus watching YouTube equals 100 CPU usage. So editing, not happening on its device. All in all, it was a wide ride, but definitely some cool takeaways and few hiccups along the way. Stay tuned for more. See you at the next one.